hello everyone in this video i will demonstrate how to read and write different types of file format using r so this is what we were working on please see my uh, last video here uh, so we set the working directory to my user directory slash desktop slash r project and that is the the folder on my desktop okay and I'm working on my Mac and that's the data set I have and it has one file data file called chick flick dot that and uh, we uh, sort of set the working directory there okay so we don't need to mention the path again and again and this will show the current working directory and uh, I will read the data that I have into my data frame, which is a variable here, which is called test data. Okay, so this will read my chick flick dot that and header equals to because it has first row as header row with all the column names. Okay, so this is what we worked on. So to run the command one at a time, press command enter. Uh, I'm on Mac, so this is getting. Oops. Uh, working directory this is the my working directory as you see here uh, and then let's get the data set so it read the data set into my data frame called test data and I can show first then records of this one okay now uh, if you see the data set you know uh, often it is difficult to read this data set often like you can right click it and open with a text edit to see what is in there. Uh, this is still better. Uh, and you can also import this uh, file into Excel and Excel will open this one as well. But it would be better if we can write this one in different format like uh, comma separated values or Excel. So that's the whole purpose of this video here. Uh, we will move along here. One thing I wanted to point out here is if you're working on a Windows machine, so this path will be very much like the same. But instead of this, let's say you have this uh, uh, you created a folder called r dash project uh, in your c directory okay uh, in directly in your c directory so this is the way it should be okay so accordingly you can reset the the path here as per your need okay so uh, having done that uh, let's move on here what i'm going to do here is i will save this file as a csv file so i will say that uh, saving uh, data as dot cs file and for that what we need to do is we need to use write dot csv command and i need to pass on my data frame which is test data and just give the name of the file this is check flick underscore I would say you know that to c csv dot c csv okay so that should do the trick yeah the file is written as a csv file and if I go here you'll see this is a csv file double clicking will open it in an excel as well um, so you see everything there okay and you can read the csv file uh, in a similar way so for example i'll create a test data underscore let's say uh, csv uh, i will assign this file there read dot csv and um, since I have already mentioned my working directory, all I need to do is pass on my file name here. Okay, and this has an header, so I can 
make header true okay and then again you know just so let's say i want to print first and records again here instead of test data i want to show csv okay so what i will do here um, just create a separator here okay so this section we are working with uh, working with dot csv file okay no, okay so uh, okay so let's do that again here test data underscore csv and it's reading that file here right and giving me 10 records exactly the similar way now uh, let's say we will do it with excel and that's a little tricky here with dot file which is also the excel file now there are many ways to do it uh, i will show you the most obvious way uh, for which you don't need to install any software any extra software uh, so we will be working with a different package here which you need to install uh, so we'll install two packages install dot packages uh, we'll say read excel this will help us read the excel file and we'll install packages write excel okay so we install these two packages okay and you can install this two packages in one go uh, basically what you need to do is pass this as a vector so just list like this see okay and this should work so it's it will install both the packages in one go just wanted to tell you some tricks here okay so next thing is the we need to load this packages so we have to use library command library i'm gonna say read excel and then we'll do library write excel okay so so we are loaded both the libraries so once we are done let's go ahead and uh, write our data frame uh, the test data are the latest we have is test data underscore csv okay so we will say here uh, right now you see this command because we installed this package right excel okay so we need to pass on the data frame test data we already have the data frame and we can give a name check flick underscore i would say that to or you can you know likewise you can do the you know uh, csv as well it doesn't matter once you have the data in your data frame you can save that data frame either uh, as a csv format or as excel format okay okay dot xlsx so let's see this one so this is saved so we should see a file there so we see this excel file that's being created if we double click by default it gives a name sheet one where you can change that sheet name if you want but otherwise the data is there very similar uh, to the csv file uh, csv file has 
this one additional column uh, the row uh, the uh, the row number okay which we don't have in excel <clears throat> so that's something you have to keep in mind when you're reading the data okay so so when we read uh, so going me showing me all this one two three four there okay yeah so i guess uh, did we had that thing uh, the column name first one there in that file let's open with uh, let's open with text edit here no it did not so i will need to figure it out why did it store on first one as a you know the row id number so you can let's try to save uh, instead of this one what we can do here is we can save our uh, csv data frame that we just created right and let's call it uh, csv excel and let's, let's see what it does okay so it has written there csv to excel and it did create that first one there uh, row id okay and give it a name by default x that's a default name by r so that's something you have to keep in mind okay so moving along here so once you have that file written uh, the next thing is you know as I said it gives a default name as sheet one what if you want to change the name of the sheet can you do that so the answer is yes uh, what you need to do here is pass the pass it on as a list here uh, so what we will do here is we'll say list we need to mention the name of the worksheet that we want to uh, give let's say I want to give Excel as x uh, or excel let's say excel x, x underscore data and that's the name of my data frame okay and this should do the trick okay so and if you go it's, it will override the existing file okay so if you go there this one so see it gave the name xlsx underscore data okay so you can give the name as well okay that's something you have to keep in mind okay now uh, reading back data from excel file what you need to do here is uh, let's say so we will say here let's create a data frame test data underscore xls x okay and we will use read xls x data and we'll just pass on the name of our file uh, we'll just copy this one here okay see here that should work okay now let's print first 10 data from here okay so we are not reading from csv data frame but xls data frame okay so it gives you here the all the numbers will be given the number data type others will be called character data types okay that's something you have to keep in mind now you can do uh, here if you want to specify the sheet number you can do that so for example you can say sheet equals one this will work as well so uh, it will just read the first sheet or you can also also um, give the name of the sheet that you just gave. So we gave XLS X underscore data. So this should work as well. Okay. 
So uh, these are the many different ways you can uh, read and write in Excel and CSV file. I just wanted to give you a brief introduction to uh, different types of file format but when it comes to reading and writing using R. So hopefully this was helpful. Thank you very much for listening.